Hey, what's going on, Recovery Fam? It's Aaron here again. Just checking in with you guys. Um, doing good. Doing good. We're hanging in there. Um, hung out with... We'll, we'll just... We'll hung out with Lexi today. Um, that's not her full name, but we'll call her Lexi. Um, I don't think she'd care. Um, she's really awesome, you guys. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of like giving me a whole new, like, outlook on, on life in a way. Um, she's just really cool and she gets it. You know what I mean? You know, it's just like, it's just effortless being around her. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, you guys. Um, yeah, that's all. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, we're hanging out again tomorrow after she's done with a couple clients, she's an esthetician, so she's like a beauty, you know, she like, makes people look good, basically, um, which is cool, she makes good money, and, yeah, so, we're gonna go ahead, and get into, get into what happened to the buddy of mine that committed suicide, um, because I think it's important I really think it's important to kind of try and paint the picture of just how serious. Let me take out this gum. I'm doing this nicotine gum, you guys. It's, it's interesting. It tastes really bad, like in the back of my throat. I don't know if you're supposed to swallow it, so let me know. Because I have been, and it tastes like you're swallowing chew spit. Anyways, um, so we're just going to get right to that. Um, so basically, like I had seen the, the day that it happened, there were there. The morning after it happened, I have was scrolling through Facebook, and long story short, I just seen everybody like from where I was from, posting about you know R.I.P. We'll just call him. We'll just call him Tom, or Tom. That's kind of a stupid name. We're, we'll just call him my friend. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace, my friend. And I'm just like, uh, you know, in disbelief. You know, I'm like, no, no. Like this has got to be the wrong person. But he was tagged in it. And I still didn't believe it. So I clicked, and of course, you know, I knew it was, you know, I just didn't want to believe it. Um, I didn't know exactly how he had went, and it wasn't until I called the other buddy of mine, where all three of us were, were buddies, you know, before using and during using. Um, and basically, he broke down on the phone instantly, right right when he basically heard my voice on the phone, and he just couldn't hold it back, and he was like one of the only people that knew exactly how he did it, um, and still, I think he's one of the only people that knows exactly how he did it, because it's just so, it's, it's, it's gruesome, you guys, so, I mean, if you're, if you are, you know, not trying to hear something that's, you know, could put you, make you feel some type of way right now, then just, you know, tune out right now. Um, I mean, it's hard for me to even talk about. I didn't want to make this video, but I think it's important that I speak up and just paint the picture of just how crazy, like I said, this stuff can make you. Um, so what happened was his use started getting really bad. Um, he wasn't, he was doing, he was very addicted to heroin. And, um, you know, I, everybody knew for a long time that he was really going downhill uh, bad. And I and basically in the note that he left he didn't think that he would be able to get out of it um he had some other stuff going on too but it was mainly his addiction he he, he needed he was in so much pain from his addiction that you know he just did not think that he was going to be able to get out of it and he thought that he was being a burden on everybody else that you know just like we all feel sometimes sometimes it just gets overwhelming for him it got overwhelming and it was just it just happened um so we're gonna just cut to the chase on how it happened because like i said i, I want to paint the picture of just how you know he was he wanted to die you know he was going to die um he went and got one of his dad's hunting rifles big hunting rifle so imagine it's a gun but it, it wasn't long enough it was too long for him to pull the trigger with his finger and just you know boom he, he shot himself in the head you guys so he went to the bathroom um locked the door wrote his note and then 
So he's sitting on the toilet. Imagine there's a bookshelf right in front, you know, right in front of the toilet or whatever. It, like I said, the gun was too long for him to be able to hold it to his head like he wanted it to. Or maybe, you know, it was like either in his mouth or right by it. You know, he might, I'm pretty sure he put the gun in his mouth, but either way, he took his head off. Um, oh, God. Oh, I just can't imagine. Uh, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. He wedged the gun in between a couple of books. Pretty sure one of them was the Bible. And he sat back on the toilet. Like, this is how much he, he wanted to die. He, he was going to die tonight, you guys, or that night. He was going to die. Um, he put his leg out and, I, you know, I'm pretty sure put the gun in his mouth and pulled the trigger with his toe, pulled the trigger with his foot. I mean, you guys, this is, this is a real deal, you guys. You know, his family was home when it happened. I'm close with his family. His brother, his older brother kicked in the door and, <laughs> you know, you could imagine the rest. So, yeah, he, uh. He was going to go either way that night. Mm, yeah. And what I think happened, well, I think he tried to, he tried to overdose. He didn't, uh, he didn't want to go out that way. He, uh, he tried to, you know, put a bunch of heroin in his arm and it didn't work. And I think that made him mad. I think that pissed him off. And so, you know, he, he really went out, he, he made a statement you know, that, you know, I, I'm, he was going to die that night, either way, he was either going to intentionally overdose or that, and that's ended up, that ended up being what, what happened, I almost would have rather he would have died from the overdose, um, you know, bless your heart, bro, but I almost wish he would have just went, you know, from overdosing, because just the way that he did it, um, like I said, you guys, and it was drug-induced, I mean, it was, he was, you know, he was going crazy. He didn't think that he had a way out. Um, that was his way out, you know. I really hope that he's not in pain anymore. Um, and, you know, part of me is, like, very, you know, I'm very sad. I'm very sad for his family. His brother's traumatized. I mean, <laughs> you know, imagine walking into that. You know, you could imagine so that's that's just what could happen you guys either you're gonna overdose you're gonna die the drug deal is gonna go bad and somebody's gonna kill you for twenty dollars ten dollars I've heard people get killed for ten dollars and less you guys five dollars you know it doesn't matter people are crazy um, or the drugs are gonna make you crazy and you're gonna kill yourself either way or you're going to hopefully get locked up if it's getting that bad hopefully you're going to go to jail for a while and hopefully it does what it's supposed to do which is rehabilitate you or you're going to go to treatment it's either you it's either those options or you you know you know either get clean or die or go to jail you're either it's you're guaranteed death by overdose death by murder death by suicide or jail that's it, that's, I mean, that's it, and I thought that I could, I thought that wasn't going to happen to me, you know, thank, thank God it didn't, but it was going to, it was very close, I knew you guys, I knew I was going to kill myself real soon, um, I was tired, you know, I just got tired, um, I really was tired, and, you know, by the grace of whatever, you know, I'm not even going to front, I'm not fully, fully religious, I'm not, you know what I mean? But by the grace of whatever, um, you know, I got out of it. And, you know, I'm still dependent on something, but, you know, I haven't had any thoughts of killing myself or any, you know what I mean? It's different. You know, I'm dependent. I'm not living an addict lifestyle. So, 
I just wanted to, I'm sorry if that, you know, gross some people out or whatever, but I want it to, um, you know, I want people to realize, like, that's what happens, you guys, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really have much to say right now, I, I, I just see his face in my head, like, and he was such a good guy. I mean, if he had a five-piece left or a half a pill left, and it was either him be sick or you be sick, you wouldn't have been sick. You know, he, he was a good, he was a good guy, even through, even in his addiction, but he was sick. I mean, he was very sick, and he just got tired. I mean, he was tired, and, you know, rest his, rest, rest his soul, rest in peace, man. So... I'm fighting, I'm fighting for me, and I'm fighting for you, um, you know, I have a really cool girl in my life now that, you know, coincidentally was sent, you know what I mean, I, I just feel like I'm living for both of us right now, um, I'm doing all the things that he wanted to do, we talked about making these videos together, him starting a channel, me starting it, I mean, it was real, you guys, he was gonna start a channel, um, you know, but he didn't make it, and I know this is what he'd want me to do, you know, I know this is what he would want me to do, and he wanted a girlfriend so bad, you know, he just wanted somebody to love him, you know, he want he just, because he didn't love himself, um, you know, he loved other people, but he didn't love him, so, it's sad, but that's, that's how the game goes, you guys. You'll get so lost in the sauce that you don't care. I mean, you care so much to where it's overwhelming. It's the way I look at it, at least for me. You know, I never stopped caring. I started, you know, how much I cared started to become overwhelming. And that made me want to just end it too. But, you know, I'm so glad that I'm still here with you guys. I mean, I'm doing, I'm living for the both of us now. I'm doing this for us. Um, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for me. You know, we're all winning from this. You know? And I just love you guys so much. I mean, the recovery fam, you guys have just showed so much love and support. Not just for me, but for everybody. Um, you know, and I want people to know that, you know, if your, fa your family turned your back on you or, you know, turned their back on you, whatever, we're here for you. If I'm not able to get back in a day, Rock and Roberta will get back. Leisha will get back. Tim Johnson will get back. Uh, CD Recovery will get back. You know, they're, they're, the whole family. I mean, I miss, I mean, I, there's too many people. I couldn't name them all. But, you know, Jerry from Dublin, uh, Danielle H Hughes, uh, everybody, Nick M, you know, that, that's my bro. I mean, that was like the first person that hit me up and, and, you know, just talk to me, and, you know, much love, much love, man, because that talk really meant a lot, and I really appreciate you for that, you know, I made a brother in Nick, like, that's my dude, um, I'm so thankful for all of you guys, and, you know, I've caught back up on my emails, I'm, you know, I'm going, trying to get back to two videos a day, um, and still live my life at the same time, you know, right now I'm not feeling overwhelmed and I'm trying to keep it that way, so, just for everybody's sake, you know, um, that's about it, you guys, I just, I just want you guys to know that it does get better, but it doesn't get better if you keep using, um, <laughs> I mean, that's obvious, right, don't expect it to get better if you're still out using, um, and if you are still using, I'm praying for you. I'm praying that you hold on and, 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 and maybe get into the fight of recovery and or at least get on a plan of some sort, you know. Because I don't like hearing about that kind of stuff, especially when it hits close to home. But if anything happened to my recovery fam, that's close to home. I mean, I you know, I'm praying for everybody. And I really hope that people can get to where I am and that so many other people in the recovery fam were blessed to be. Um... And I just love you guys so much, you know. Thank you guys so much. Um, that's it, you know. That's it. I really love you guys so much. I'm going to tune out here. Recovery fam, all day. Let the healing begin. I love you guys so much. Thank you.